Hi guys, welcome to the Green TMD in O-Gage and as you can see we have a massive change to the layout. The photo vaccine has arrived. Not the original one that I was intending for the layout but um, various reasons meant that the original supplier was not able to supply that for me. So this one is from ID Vaccines. They are all over the internet if you want to look them up. Um, it's one of their stock images and it's been heavily cropped and enlarged to fit my board and it was a bargain at just over £20 and £20 worth every single penny. Um, it's the premier version where it's on a self-adhesive film. Um, it was a bit touchy in places, uh, getting a good application to the backboards. Uh, but it went on quite well, generally easier than I was expecting and the magic tool that I used was a great big window washing squeegee to draw it on. Now I was going to video it, um, I wish I had videoed it, um, the issue being that uh, the little camera in the way was trying to wrestle the actual back scene, the backing film and everything else would have been a logistical nightmare considering the size of it. A smaller layout would have been easier. Um, a board on a table, for example, a doddle to show. However, because my backboard was pre fitted to the layout and I'm applying the vaccine in situ, it was just too much. However, I will say it did go on very well and I will recommend it. So anyone wanting to upgrade to a photo vaccine, take your time, use a window squeegee, not, not a sponge or cloth or anything like that, to, and just gently peel off a short area, probably no, no more than 10 inches of the backing film, and then squeegee it on with the big window squeegee, and then do the next bit. The issues I had was in the corners where it came around the curves, now the curves weren't exactly even, then it wanted to crumple and then it was a fight. However, what I did do was just run a brand new sharp scalpel blade straight up the paper at the end of the curve and then reapply from scratch butting up to it. You can't see the joins in the corners and it all came out excellent. And as I said, ID vaccines, look them up, uh, there's plenty of suppliers or you can buy direct. Also a bit more scenery has been done down here on the ground, ground cover, just to spruce it up a bit of colour. It's a bit more green than was necessarily accurate for the location, but without it the model would have been very drab indeed. Um, there, there was a bit less grass on the depot at the time that I'm modelling. But to give it a bit, a bit more zing, a bit more something to look at. And uh, it's come out really well. Um, I've currently got a couple of lolly sticks in here and they are there purely as markers where the telegraph pole will be and the base for the yard clock. I have some I uh, can't remember the supplier, um, some laser cut security fencing. It's, we're talking the concrete fence posts with the mesh to go along the back here. Um, there should be another two tracks before the mesh compound at Hither Green. Um, unfortunately, as you know, everything is slightly compacted here. So I'm just going to put it in there just to break up the back of the layout so it's not literally just straight up to the front and back scene. There's going to be some stuff in the front first. And pretty much that is where we're at, with the exception of one other thing. That there has been much progress with the little office that lives just here, behind the wagon. And that is Steve Smith. Hello again, Steve. Thank you very much for the excellent work you are doing. I commissioned him to laser cut me a slightly squashed version of the office block that lives there but as we know the layout is slightly compressed so it, it's a best fit and
close representation to the actual office block, as close as we could get it. Um, so that's uh, Steve Smith of Railway Laser Lines. So if you look him up, Railway Laser Lines. Um, he does commission work and has some other kits, uh, logo fueling points and things like that that he currently produces. And they are excellent. So yep, that's the next thing that hopefully won't be far off in the post either. And uh, so we'll bring you down here and we'll have a closer look. So here we are down on the layout. So what do you think? There's a few improvements done, a bit more scenery at the back here and the back scene. The weathering you've seen done, a bit of static grass and a few little other little bits of foliage material just scattered here and there in little clumps just to add a bit of interest. So we'll take you around the back scene and before we bring you over here so where you got the three arches into the fiddle yard the cut out areas are just stuck here I've made a little little board section that uh, just slots in there because otherwise it's very slim and you it blends in just a little bit better it's never going to be perfect but generally of that very corner of the layout isn't the main purpose of the part that you would look at but as you go around you'll see the, the back scene ties it in nicely around the back of the yard to outside the shed the 1920s sort of era semi-detached houses on the background which are quite prevalent in that part of South London where the depot is although further away which is why I wanted a different back scene however it fits in nicely with the location and it just sets it off plenty of sky so if we just go up a bit you know, we can have plenty of sky which is what unfortunately some layouts can't squeeze in but I went for the extra height because I've still got to put the boards on the front of the layout to create a letterbox effect which is why I wanted the height so you can still have a reasonable width but the view the object of the exercise with this layout the viewing area is low down you're not looking down on it from above it's to try and bring you down to towards ground level to look at it so any images you get then will be lots of sky houses in the background and the trains outside the shed the scenery goes all the way around most of which you won't see down the other end they're terraced houses down there which again sort of fits in with the South East London towards Hither Green and Lewisham direction is more terraced houses than big semi-detached houses so the flow of housing sort of fits in quite nicely with the depot um, and that's where we are it does make a big difference and as I said previously, it was 20, just over £20. And I personally believe worth every single penny because of the difference it makes. If you look at the previous video to this one, massive difference. And the same with the comments on the group. Obviously some people have seen photographs on various Facebook groups that I'm on and up the RM web thread for this layout. But those of you that only come here and watch the videos I hope you appreciate the change that has occurred we'll just have another last final general view of where we're at so far So there we have it, there's the, the update of where we're up to now and I think it's coming along quite nicely and it's starting to gel together. So with the last few pieces for this board, there's not much to do on this board to be honest, uh, to come. Once the office is here, make a clock and a little bit of vaccine, this entire board will be finished. And then it will be on to constructing the shed itself. We still haven't forgotten the 
other little side projects the yacht crane and that I will eventually one day get round to them I promise so I shall leave you with a few photos and some photos of the prototype cut this is a prototype cut practice cut of the office building that Steve Smith has done just a few photos to see the work that has gone into that um, they hopefully next week the actual final cut will take place and then it will bring its way down here and I'll be able to build it and put it behind the 33 here and pretty much I'll catch you next time any questions please ask in the comment section below like and share and enjoy your modelling see you later